Welcome to the Swimming From Home talk show. I'm here with Club Wolverine. Um, I guess just to get this conversation started, um, I'm just going to start with, you know, how, how are you doing today? And I can go first. Um, this week is, has really been been a little bit of a downer for me. I think I've been, I spent a lot of the first few weeks with my girlfriend. Um, and then this week we're like, hey, let's spend the week apart and see how that kind of goes. And so I've been at my own house and being alone, being I actually isolated has been uh, pretty weird. Um, and, and, and honestly having conversations like this has helped a lot. And so, um, I'm glad that it's Friday. Uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to a weekend, um, but I'm doing all right today. Um, how are you guys doing? I can start. I, I'm probably the the reverse or the opposite of you, Coleman, a little bit. My, uh, my wife works at the hospital. So last week she was, she was there. Mm -hmm. uh, we had a 10 month old uh, son. So I spent a lot of time, obviously, I mean, a great, great, a great amount of time with him and, and just kind of spending really quality time with him. But I was probably more quarantined and she's home this week. So, you know, having the whole family together, especially with her at the hospital, knowing that we're all safe and healthy right now, it's been a, it's been a good week for me. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I think this week has been good and bad for me. Um, we started our Zoom dry land this week, which has been fun. Um, like we stopped swimming kind of, I think mid March, was it maybe? I don't know. But like, there's been a period of time where we've kind of had to like work out on our own. And I like tried to run and it was terrible. But um, then we started Zoom Dryland. So now I'm doing better. But also our stay at home, like shelter in place just got extended like another two weeks. So that's been kind of sad. But yep. Yeah, I think as for me, in the period without the Zoom Dryland, um, I was doing a lot of work on the Peloton bike that my parents rode all the time. So that was helpful to stay in shape. But now that the Zoom Drylands have started, I think it's, it's much more fun to be with uh, the team again. Um, and I don't know, as for the week, I'd say it's been going pretty okay, I guess, as, as good as it can. Um, school work is just kind of optional at this point which is hard because it's like you don't really want to do it, but you feel like you should. So next week it's going to get a little more serious. So uh, that's how my week's been going. Yeah. Um, before we get too into this, can, could we just introduce ourselves real quick? Maybe what year in school you are as well? Yeah. So I'm, my name is Casey and I'm a senior this year. And uh, my name's uh, Matthew, and I'm a junior. Awesome. Um, so yeah, so you, you Club Wolverine started uh, Zoom Dryland this week. Can you guys tell me a little bit more about that? Sure, I, I guess I can start. Um, so we we had a, we've, we've had some Zoom team meetings um, and things like that, and, and with talking to the kids, it just seemed like there was a real need and, and want for, I mean, I guess a little bit of normalcy in their, their daily schedule, right? Um, I think they were doing a really good job with, you know, working out on their own and we weren't really allowed to give them workouts. So they were kind of just, you know, running, you know, core on their own, but they wanted a little bit more structure and they just really missed each other, I think, and working out as a, as a, as a crew. So, you know, um, USA Swimming the, with the liability insurance, we were able to start um, some group dry land on with zoom uh, we've been using some some workouts from gain is also we've been kind of out of our comfort zone writing some some new types of dry land for the kids like a little bit of strength and then a little bit of uh, like aerobic circuits for them to do uh, just to get their heart rates up a little bit but uh the first night in, in my opinion was was pretty rough i think you know if i had to criticize myself um there's definitely like a learning curve to for running dry land running zoom you know, throwing kids in different breakout rooms. Um, and, and so we as a staff kind of, I don't know, evolved a little bit. And, and now we have delegated like different tasks, different coaches that are on there. So, I mean, it's taken us a few days, but it's definitely going a lot better than night one. That was my two cents on it, at least. Yeah. I think um, for me, it's been really helpful to have that sense of normalcy. I think like Gunnar said, uh, that one thing I can rely on, okay, this is what I'm going to do from five to 6 p.m. every day. Like, 
that's I know I know my schedule and that's also something I really enjoyed about swimming it's two hours or uh, three and a half hours out of my day where I know exactly what I'm doing and I don't have to worry about what should I do how should I fill my time so I, I really appreciate that part of it for sure yeah zoom dryland is also really hard um I I didn't, you don't need, I found out, like, heavy weights and, like, a squat rack for it to be really hard. Like, last night, I think we did, what was it, like, 100 burpees total, and I was dying, and it's, it's been different, but I think it's been good. Um, you know, I did try and run, as I mentioned before, and, like, I would run and I like could not walk down the stairs the next day. So I think having the structure and having people like tell me what to do and just doing exercises together has been really helpful. And yeah, I'm, I'm glad I have something to do now because I've kind of been sitting at home doing nothing all day long, only talking to my family members. So yeah. Yeah. So um, as 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 high schoolers, as active students, how has this been different um, than like, you know, a normal day where not only would you go to swim practice, but you would go to school as well? Like, are you guys currently online for school? Um, how has that been different as opposed to seeing your peers on a daily basis? So, um, well, for me, it's been, it's kind of like a shift over. Not all the teachers are doing it at the same pace. So it feels a little bit hard to keep up with some classes where as others are lagging behind. Um, and the district is still trying to figure out like a regular schedule to, to like uh, assigning work and uh, having like progress checks and that sort of thing. So I think next week is supposed to be the start for a lot of the um, regular assignments and actually kind of getting into a uh, structured structured uh, path I guess for the rest of the year mm -hmm. yeah our school has been like optional but some of my teachers are better at technology than others so it's been interesting but next week I think we start actual like real learning like it will be required and I think we're just doing like pass fail for the rest of the year basically but I was as a senior, I was supposed to get out like or like late May, but now I get out the normal time, so I'm kind of sad about that. But um, yeah, the schooling has been interesting, and like Matt said, like because it's optional, you feel like you should do it because you're so bored, but then you don't want to do it. So yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I mean that. That sounds like quite quite a hurdle. Um, how how have you guys been spending your time other than you know now this week an hour just an hour of dryland circuits? Well, um, I don't know. I've tried to. I've always had like kind of a like a art passion, I guess. So I've tried to do more with that. Um, and I don't know, just hang out with my family. Um, do puzzles. I've done a lot of puzzles. So my mom and I just completed a big thousand piece puzzle. So that was fun. Um, so it's just like, it's just like little things that you don't get the time to do in your normal, like crazy life that you can kind of slow down and take the time to appreciate and do. Yeah. I second the puzzles. The puzzles have been good. I spent a lot of time on puzzles. Um, I, I'm a big cat person, so I've been spending a lot of time with my cat. Um, I go on walks. I took my cat on a walk, actually. Um, I tried baking. I'm not very good at baking, but I've tried. I've tried to help my sister. We made apple turnovers, so they, those were pretty good. Um, I've watched all the movies, actually, which I usually don't really have time to do because of the structure of, like, swim school like school like homework like swimming and yeah gunner yeah i think um 
you know, I've always been a, a morning person, so I'm trying to still, you know, get up pretty early. Obviously, you know, with our 10 month old son, that's not a hard thing to do. Um, with my wife at home, we're kind of taking shifts between who's watching him and who's getting work done, you know, um, trying to run, you know, um, I ran in high school a lot, uh, haven't lately. And I know if I, uh, if I do uh, too much of it, I'm probably going to hurt myself. So I'm trying to limit it a little bit <laughs> here. Um, and other than that, I just, I mean, we as a staff, we just kind of made a list of administrative tasks that we we always talk about doing, but like the, the chaos of the, the schedule gets to you and we're just trying to check those boxes off a little bit because this is a good opportunity with um, everything kind of the practices not really going on for us to get a little bit of that work done. So it's trying to keep in contact with the kids and running some dry land over Zoom and just doing what we can do right now. It's kind of what my schedule looks like. Yeah. Do I mean, I know I've been taking walks in the mornings this week and I feel like that's been helping a lot. Uh, just... I don't find myself wanting to exercise in the mornings, but to kind of be a little more active and, uh, and just to kind of have some time for myself to, to think and get the morning started. And I usually listen to music during that. And, um, well, walking, yeah. can be, walking can be crazy right now. Cause there's so many people out right? <laughs> side to side on the street, right? Like just, <laughs> <so>. <laughs> it, you stay very active when walking. I feel like, yeah, because, um, yeah, my neighborhood, the, it's like I, I live in a very busy neighborhood, so there's there's a lot going on. Um, yeah, and you want to avoid <laughs> human contact as much as possible. Um, what has been everyone's favorite part about this? And I know that might be hard. I don't know if you have favorite parts, but what's what's been your favorite thing that you've done maybe this week? Um, I know for me, I'll give you some time to think. Um, I bought a Kindle off of Craigslist last week uh, to encourage my staying at home so that I could like check out books. And I go to the library often here. And so the libraries are closed. So I got a Kindle so I could still support the library and check books out and stuff. And so uh, yesterday I sat down with it for a few hours actually and started my first book on the Kindle. And that was pretty cool. Is a pretty good reading experience. So that was that has been a highlight for me this week. Um, and also, one more highlight is that this evening my family is going to have their first family Zoom. Um, so I'm excited to talk to my parents and my brother all at once. I think that's a, a common theme with everyone right now. I think um, you know my family's all over the U.S. Like sisters, parents. Um, and I don't think I've probably called or, or FaceTimed them as much as I have in this period, right? And everyone, I mean, I guess that's a, some silver lining, right? Keeping in contact with your, your, your families and loved ones, you know, best you can right now. Yeah, um, I know this past Wednesday was Passover, so uh, I got to call all my family and got to I don't know, sit down, talk with them. So that was really special. Um, that's definitely one of my favorite parts. Another part was I ordered 700 rubber ducks um, and just for fun, like no really reason behind it, just because I thought it'd be fun to have. And I've been pranking my dad with them. So like each night I'll put like a few more in his room so he wakes up and finds them. So uh, that's that's been pretty fun for me. Wait, does he know that you ordered these 700 ducks? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, no. He, he's, he's like getting the pattern, but it's, it's still a <laughs> surprise him like that. Well, I haven't done anything as fun as pranking my dad with rubber ducks, but um, I don't know. I, I've been FaceTiming my grandparents, and they, um, they don't really know a lot about, like, technology, but they – they know how to answer FaceTime, so it's been cute to talk to them because I probably won't get to see, I haven't seen them for a while and I probably won't get to for at least a couple more weeks. But um, yeah, we've been just talking about random stuff and it's been funny to like see them and like like stare at their phone and be like, like, how are you on the screen? Like they just think it's really cool. They just think it's funny, but yeah, I've been doing that. And um, been watching a lot of TV. 
I am very thankful for Netflix during this time. I've been watching a lot of The Office. That's like my favorite show to watch, but yep. Um, I watched a little bit of, I don't know if you know the new show, like Tiger King, but that show is crazy. And then I haven't finished it yet, but it's insane. I've asked everyone I've talked to on one of these if they've watched Tiger King. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, yeah, we 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 breezed through it in like two days, I think. Yeah. Um, it's yeah. amazing because it's like this world that you, it's like a world you just didn't know existed, right? right. And it's just chaos. <laughs> <laughs> but it's real. It's like out there. <laughs> I don't know if anyone uh, else like actually went on the internet and looked how much you could buy a tiger for because I didn't. It's not that much. You would expect it to be a lot more. Um, right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The Tiger King is is um, is. The, have there been any other favorites of shows or uh, or movies you guys have seen? I know we just finished the third season of Ozark, and that was really good. And uh, we've been watching on Hulu, um, Little Fires Everywhere with Carrie Washington and Reese Witherspoon, and that's like an episode has come out each Wednesday I think mm -hmm. and so we've been like that's they're like six episodes in on that show and that's been a real barn burner <laughs> yeah my family actually I don't know if you know the show Survivor it's the one Elizabeth Beisel was on yeah so that's kind of like my family show so we like watch that every Wednesday and it's been like that's how I keep track of how many weeks have gone by like <laughs> I know that it's Wednesday because Survivor is on like that's how I know what day it is but we've been watching that I've been watching some movies I we watched all the Star Wars movies um recently so I think I'm gonna start Harry Potter soon but yeah I would say I probably haven't watched as, not, as much Netflix um uh, nothing really that, that interesting to me has come out I I started Tiger King, but I didn't really get into it. So I think after hearing you guys talk about it, I'm going to have to try it again. I'm going to have to get into it. Um, you got to get three episodes into it because it just shifts gears on you like that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So um, I've been watching some of the Indiana Jones movies because I haven't seen those in a while. So those are good to come back to. So, yeah. Gunner, any highlights besides Tiger King? Um, we've been we've been watching Westworld on HBO, but that's again, I think Netflix mm -hmm. is clutch right now because you can binge watch that. You've got to wait a whole week for the next episode to get um, right. Air. Westworld definitely has been. Um, I've watched you know uh, season one and two of that, so just season three is a good one so far. Yeah, nice. Um, have you guys found any? I don't know if silver lining is the right word, but have you, have you, has anything come of this that you didn't really expect to, but has been a positive? Um, or, I mean, I know communication has been a big one. Like I have a group chat with my brother and our longtime best friend that we've like, I guess rekindled, but we've been talking on it pretty much every day this week, <laughs> just because we know we're all at home and, um, you know, I've, I've tried to get a little more creative in my free time just with how I'm spending my time. And I think, you know, I guess that's a good thing, but, um, I've been doing more yoga. Uh, you know, have, have, have you guys found any activities that you've really enjoyed that you probably wouldn't have done otherwise? Um, I've been going on bike rides with my sister, which I normally would not do ever because I feel like during swim season, I just want to lay in bed and do nothing. But, um, yeah, we've been going on bike rides and that is way better than running. I recommend it a lot. Um, you can just see so many different things like, and it's not as hard, but, we live pretty close to the big house, um, which is the Michigan stadium. So we like bike around there and we like, I want to go biking downtown and like, there's literally no cars downtown. So I think it'd be fun to go there, but yeah, biking has been fun. Yeah. Um, I've also gone on a couple of bike rides with my brother. There's some actual 
trails a neighborhood or two over. So it's been fun to kind of bike on the trails and I don't know, I haven't really ever done that before. So it was fun. Um, but also like art, I enjoy painting a lot. Um, and I'm either like too tired to paint or like too tired to do anything else in swim season. So getting this opportunity is kind of nice. I'll jump on the, the bike riding theme too. Um, I love mountain biking, so I've been able to do a lot of that lately. They did shut down the parking lots for a lot of the trails, you know, but you can bike in and that's still um, fine. And then I would say, you know, on a normal swim schedule, I, I, I'm, I'm having dinner with my family every single night. So that's some definite silver lining for me. Um, I'm enjoying that time for sure. Yeah. Um, well, cool, guys. Any any closing thoughts that anyone might have just kind of on moving forward, things that have been helpful for you um, to get through this time or things that you've been thinking about? Maybe maybe what's what's something you're looking forward to when this is all over? I can't wait to show up to morning practice again, right? Like that's like that 4.45 a.m. alarm that like you hate all the time. But I would uh, what I would do to get to a morning practice right now. Um, it's definitely something I'm looking forward to. Uh, other than that, I think, you know, if I think people just need to stick together, right? And, and your team, your club team, your college team, or, or just swim friends. Um, you know, I have a great support group of coaches that I talk to all the time um, with, you know, Pat Wickering, uh, Jim Whitehead, Ian Townsend, a little shout out there for those guys. But we're on, you know, and just talking through our problems and um, yeah, just, communicating a little bit more right yeah I definitely have to second Gunner's um 445 alarm for sure I definitely miss seeing everybody at practice and I don't know getting through these like grueling sets together um I, I definitely miss that part about it a ton so that's definitely what I'm looking forward to when coming back yeah I would say the same I miss like finishing a really hard set and being like, wow, I accomplished so much today, but I know it will happen eventually, but like for the time we can wait and we can just let like this whole thing pass. Like it's, it's good that we're giving, we're giving this up for like a, a bigger thing, something bigger than us. And um, that's important to recognize. And I'm just really excited to get back in the pool when the time comes. Well, awesome. Thank you. Thank you all so much for your input. It was really great talking to you. Um, and I appreciate you giving the time. Thank you, Coleman. Stay safe. Stay yeah. healthy, man. And thanks for putting all these videos out on Swim Swim. We've definitely been watching them as a group. Yeah. Okay. Coleman, I have a question. Yeah. Okay. Like hold. Okay. Oh, sorry. Go. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Do you like cats or dogs better? That's my question. <laughs> Uh, oh, I should have been asking this to everyone. Cat, I, I, I like cats and dogs equally. Um, yeah, I, I like both. I, uh, I have a lot. I know a lot of people who own dogs, so I'm. I would say I'm around dogs more in in this area of my life. Uh, but I like cats just as much. Yeah, that's the big debate on our team. <laughs> A heated, uh, a heated discussion right now on our team. <laughs> <laughs> what, right, Casey? I'm guessing you're. You said you're a cat person, right? Yes, I'm. I'm definitely a cat person. I do have a dog, but not, yeah, I'm a cat person. <laughs> uh, Matthew, where's your stance? Oh, I am 100 on the dog side. I okay. not that I can't stand cats. But how do you know? You don't have uh, a cat. Dogs are dogs are dogs are better. They have better personalities, in my opinion. We and we talked about dogs right now. With you know the ability to go take them for walks right now outside. There's a lot of value there having a dog, Casey. <laughs> I took that for a walk actually. We didn't get very far, but I took her for a walk. Yeah, exactly. How, how'd that go? <laughs> It went fine. We got to the end of my driveway, and then we stopped. We sat in the sun for a while. We watched the cars go by. It was a great time. <laughs> you can't do that with a dog. They always want to go somewhere. Not exactly my dog. <laughs> um, 
So cats better at sheltering in place. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, my cat has been quarantined in her ha- in my house her entire life. Like if she, if she can do that, then I can do that for like a week or a month or two. But yeah. <laughs>